Hey guys, it's Nick from Bonsai.com, and today I am talking about reviving bonsai or bonsai trees. Now, first, before I go any further, if you're interested in learning how to uh, trim, sculpt, and prune your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at Bonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, moving on. So, reviving bonsai trees takes patience. You know, it does appear dead. It is on the verge of death. It, have, have a little patience with it, you know. But beautiful or bonsai are beautiful trees and great additions to any garden. And while they may be attractive, there are often times when people, uh, you know, simply forget about them. Perhaps when someone goes on a holiday or it just slips your mind. So if this is the case, then don't worry because there are several ways to reviving bonsai trees. Now... Repotting adds life to dying trees. First, it's a good idea to uh, think about repotting a bonsai, a bonsai every couple of years. Uh, though it changes with age, younger ones may need a year, older ones maybe five. Early spring is a great time to do this, and the gardener will need some uh, good quality potting compost uh, with a mix of sand or grit that will help with drainage. Repotting a bonsai will hopefully put a new lease of uh, on life. Um, you know, give it a, a new lease on life uh, with the new soil and the drainage uh, being, you know, uh, better. Uh, and this is a good way, a good path to help revive a bonsai. Another good way for reviving a bonsai is to trim the roots of the tree. As often, uh, the roots become pretty compacted and confined and it can give it a dying appearance. Roots may also become too big for the pot, which is root bound, being root bound. And, you know, uh, cutting the roots is pretty much the only way to get around that, uh, unless you want to move to a bigger pot. But we're talking about mini trees, so you might not want to move to a bigger pot. You might just want to, um, you know, trim the roots. Now, the old soil will need to be removed first, uh, where you can expose the roots. So it's always been recommended that bonsai trees be situated outdoors because of the temperature and the fact that they need to be exposed to at least three hours of sunlight each day. Now this varies species to species. However, a lot of people still keep them indoors and they find that their bonsai tree begins to wilt and then needs to be revived. If this is the case, then the best move is to place it outside. Uh, granted, it isn't like winter or something that's going to kill it instantly. That will hopefully help in reviving it. So pretty much putting it back in its natural environment where it can thrive. Now, watering and pruning issues can help tree growth. Now, water is also an issue when it comes to reviving bonsai trees. Bonsai trees, whatever. Uh, I'll have to practice on that. The soil needs to be kept moist at all times. Some people will allow their bonsai to become waterlogged, and this trapped water will rot the root system and kill the bonsai tree quite quick, quickly. Uh, the bonsai pot, therefore, has to have enough holes to allow drainage, or rather proper drainage, of the water, letting the tree uh, run dry from the lack of water is also an issue. Now there are some trees that, uh, bonsai, uh, that they recommend to actually soak the roots when you water it, but that is, by default, that is not the case. That's uh, exceptions. Bonsai trees are always in need of pruning. If a bonsai tree gets too big, cutting off the top will stop it from growing taller and should be done using a sharp pair of scissors or secateurs to prevent infection. This will uh, allow the bonsai tree to grow new branches and give it a new lease on life. Now, that's all for this video. Again, if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt, then make sure you check my book above. And I'll see you in the next video because I'll be doing many more. So, bye. One second.